Just we're going to take a look at some of these cut-ups of press technique. Again, we have corners playing uh, pure press technique, otherwise known as bump and run, and we have safeties playing catch technique. The first clip we're going to look at here is a safety playing catch technique. Again, the rule is generally five yards from the receiver or slot as a safety. And uh, this is this this defender is a little earlier than that. He's, he's up about three yards, which is all based on ability alignment. But in the catch technique, the key is again to buzz your feet post snap. Uh, it's about catching the receiver's release, not attacking, using that five yard cushion to your advantage as a safety. Because a lot of times those slots may be a little more athletic, a little more quicker than you are. But the key is in this clip again getting the hand on the hip. This safety's hands are a little high we want it on the hip and we want to ride him out again we always want inside leverage there is no safety help it's catch technique we're talking about a cover zero situation so in this situation right now he's got to get on his hip and ride him out now at this point he is out of phase what this defender has to do right now and I explain what in phase and out of phase is in the blog but this defender now has to focus his eyes on that hip and run full speed he can never look back because once he loses looks back the receiver starts to get separation on the route. So right now, he starts to look back because he is in phase. What in phase means, he's able to touch the hip, so it's a pretty good job by that safety right there. And again, hand on the hip, perfect technique here, doing a great job with the hand on the hip. He's able to look back for the ball, locate the ball, and he's able to make a play on it. Okay, here we have a corner and press technique. Again, it's all about getting the receiver on the lawn. Now the lawn to us, and you see these lines here on the field, we want to eliminate the space on the fade route. Anytime you're playing press technique and you get an outside release. So this is an offhand jam technique. It's an outside release. The inside hand is pressing the hip. Now this becomes what we call a wedge technique. What we want to do now is we want to wedge this receiver to the sideline and not give a lot of space for the quarterback to throw the fade ball. So it's a great job. You see right now he's staying inside and on top of the route. It's a great technique by that corner. He's wedging him to the sideline. There's not a lot of space there for the ball. Okay, you see it's a terrific, terrific job. The receiver does not fight back for leverage. And just even the receiver catches the ball, he's not making a play in bounds. Okay, again, we have a catch technique here by a safety. The safety does not buzz his feet. He opens up his feet too early here. Again, he has a five-yard cushion. Okay, so he does not do a good job of keeping his catch technique here. And he opens up his hips. He allows the receiver to get separation. This is a tremendous separation here. Okay, it's hard for him now to get back and find that hip. The receiver has gained separation. He does a better job fighting back as the receiver comes back for the ball, but it's a little bit too late here as the receiver is able to make the play. So it's all about buzzing your feet in the catch technique for a safety and using that cushion. Do not open your hips right away. That defender made a big mistake in doing so. Okay, we have a corner now. We have a taller corner here now. Um, this I want to show you because the receiver is making a couple different moves. So right now it's almost like a double move post snap. He's a young receiver. So we're looking at the inside hip. Again, we're going to pin that hip with the offhand jam technique. Okay, he's staying on the hip, staying on the hip. And he's just, we need a little better body position from that corner. He's still giving up leverage on the grass or on the lawn. But decent enough job wedging it. And he's able to make a play on the ball. There's another one here with a double move I'd like to show you. This is safety catch technique. Now, this is the, this is the, the buzz we're talking about. So watch the safety's feet right now. Safety does a great job buzzing his feet, buzzing his feet. Now, what happens is he allows an inside release. Okay, and now why he relies, relies on, allows an inside release is look at his feet. We talked about the alignment in the block. His outside foot should be splitting the crotch of that receiver. It is not. And he lifts up an inside release. There's nobody in the middle of the field here. He's automatically in a trail technique, and that's a problem. Better job here. Here's the inside foot, or the outside foot splits the crotch of the receiver. Watch the, watch the footwork. Watch the buzz technique. Buzz, 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 buzz. He keeps his cushion. It's a great job of that safety, keeping his cushion. And now... Outside release is determined. I do not like the two-hand jam by the safety, but again, he's allowed to be physical with that kid. Gets his hand on the hip. He's able to look back for the ball, locate the ball, and again, keep his distance. It's just tremendous, tremendous job by that safety right there. Okay, now here's a corner and press technique. 
separation by the receiver. Not in phase. He has to run to get on that hip. The, the ball is underthrown. He gets lucky here with the pick, but he does not do a good job staying on that hip. Again, here's the two-hand jam. Why we don't like the two-hand jam is because you get overextended. So watch this corner. He's overextended right now. You know, he's overextended right now. He's going to allow the receiver to make a move on. The receiver's, you know, he's a young receiver. We have a much better athlete at corner here. So the receiver tries to make a double move, and you see just focusing on the hips. The only reason why I'm showing you this clip is because look at the corner's hips. We don't like the man turn here. Okay, we like the zone turn. So when he works to the outside, the corner just flips his hips. So boom, flips his hips right there, and he gets back on the hip. Okay, so we like that technique against double moves. He's able to catch up. Again, he's, he's, he's a, we're working against a lesser athlete here, so it helps him, but a pretty good point on a double move. They got one more for you here on the press technique. Corner, again, wedging the hip, wedging the hip. Look at his eyes. Love the eye discipline here. His eyes are on the hip. He's working the hip. He's wedging him to the sideline. There's actually no room right now for that running back or that receiver to get back on the grass. Terrific, terrific job. So that's just some examples of press technique for the corner and catch technique by the safety.